Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here. And today I am doing one of my lessons that I teach with my kids almost every year. So I even do this lesson with my preschoolers, believe it or not. Today, we are doing self-portraits. So I'm gonna teach you the basics to drawing a face and making that face look like your face. A lot of my older friends are nervous about doing self-portraits, but there's ways to simplify. So even, like I'm telling you, even my three-year-olds will paint self-portraits with me. So I'm gonna break it down step-by-step step to everyone's ability level and let's get started. So one thing I would recommend is when you're doing a self-portrait, whether it's on canvas or on paper, please start with pencil because this is one of those projects you're probably gonna erase a little bit. I am starting with Sharpie today because I feel like when I'm doing this on YouTube, when I'm, I'm showing it you know, with a camera, it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing when I'm using Sharpie. So I'm gonna use Sharpie. You guys definitely use pencil and eraser on this one. So to start our self-portrait, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an oval. So this oval is gonna be our face. After we have our oval, I'm gonna draw two little lines like this. And they're not quite to the edges of the face. Your neck isn't super skinny but it's like just a little bit inside the edges of the face like this. So there's our neck. And then to do our shoulders, they're just kind of curved. Out and then curved. And then you guys can decide how you want your shirt to be. So I'm just gonna do like a t-shirt on mine, I think. But I know some of my friends like to put like a necklace on or maybe they wanna have a little cardigan or maybe they wanna wear a tank top or something, that's fine. You guys can customize your shirt however you want. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put on some ears. So now your ears are actually gonna go almost exactly in the middle of this oval. So they're not up high, they're not down low. They're kind of like to the side like this. And they're just curves. Now some of my older kids might get a little fancy. And you guys might like do little curves like this to make them look a little more like real ears. That's fine. It just depends on how old you are because my three year olds, they just put a, a little circle there and that's their ears and that's fine. So you guys can get as detailed with this as you want. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is eyes. So eyes, do not go up here. This is gonna be your hair. And they're not gonna go down here, this is your chin. So when you're looking at a circle of a face, the eyes are actually almost in the middle. They're kind of about where the ears are. And they're kind of lined up like this. Like people usually say that, that eyes are like an eye length apart. So you'll have like a space, then you'll have like an eye, then you'll have about the same amount of space, then you'll have another eye, and then you'll have space. So you want to make sure you get the spacing right. I've got this little cheat sheet here. So my friends that are afraid of drawing eyes, if you're one of my three-year-olds and you're painting with me today, just do a polka dot with some like eyelashes on it. That's fine. You don't have to get fancy with your eyes. Just make sure you got two of them, okay? We don't want any one eyes, okay? We don't want one eye, we don't want three eyes. We want two eyes. So put two eyes however you wanna draw them. For those, for those friends that are looking to get a little more advanced, here's a couple ways that I like to draw eyes. Now obviously this one is really fancy and I'm probably not gonna do this one today, but um, all of these, one thing that I want you to notice is that our eyes are kind of like donuts. So the middle of our eyes, we've got an outer circle here and then this inner circle is black. So when someone asks you what color are your eyes and you say, oh, they're green or oh, they're blue. Okay, let's say you have blue eyes. We need to make sure that we have room for this color to go. So 
this is where the color goes around this black dot. So we want to make sure we have these donuts in our eyes. All right, so again, our eyes are going in the middle of our face. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my donuts first. And if you want to put a little sparkle in there, you can. Okay, so I've got my donuts. To make these look a little more like eyes, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll do like a curve up and a curve up like this. And then I will do a curve down and a curve down like that. And then if you want to get a little fancy, you can put like a little hint at your eyelid in there like that. So sometimes I'll put like a little line. And again, look at the spacing here. So they're in the middle of my face and they're about an eye width apart. So it's like I have like a space between the ear and the eye and then I've got the eye and then I've got a space and then I've got another eye and then I've got another space. So you want to make sure you get the spacing right. After you have this part done, you guys can go ahead, if you want, you can add some eyelashes, okay? You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. This is, again, it's I'm trying to challenge you to do the best job you can on your self-portrait. And all of us have eyelashes, so if you want to add those eyelashes, then you can. Another thing we can add is we all have eyebrows. So I usually do my eyebrows just kind of like a couple little dashes like this right above my eyes. And it's just like little dashes like that. There's my eyebrows. All right, so after you get your eyes done, so the eyes are in the middle of the oval, and between the eyes and the chin, the bottom of the nose is going to be almost halfway between the eyes and the chin. And a lot of people have struggled with noses, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do your noses. So you could draw your nose like this. It's just a curve to the side, a curve down, and a curve to the side. I have a lot of friends that do these kind of noses where it's a little longer and you've got your two little nostrils either just as curved lines or sometimes you fill them in like this. This one, this nose gives a little hint at the, the little tip of your nose. So it's almost the same as these two noses, but it's got another little extra curve in there just that you see that little tip of your nose, like the little end of your nose. You've got a little hint of that. So it doesn't matter to me which nose you choose. I'm going to actually move this over so maybe while you guys are drawing you can kind of see some of your options here. The most important thing when you're putting your nose on is you want it again halfway the bottom of your nose. It's going to be about halfway between your eyes and your chin. So that means my nose is going to be like about right here. Okay? So you can do any kind of nose you want. I just stuck with the kind of simplified nose like this. You guys can get a little fancy if you want. Some of you might want to do the little bridge here. You might want to see a little bit of the sides of your nose. That's fine. However you want to do it. But the bottom, the most important thing is the bottom of your nose is going to be about halfway between your eyes and your chin. So about halfway is where the bottom of your nose is going to be. The next thing we're going to get to once we have our nose on there is we are going to start with our mouth. And if you guys look at my mouth, there's a couple different ways to draw a mouth. And again, if you're one of my younger kids, just draw a smile. You could just draw your mouth like this, okay? You don't have to get too crazy. Or maybe you're singing or yelling and you can be like this, okay? That's you singing, okay? You could just have like a, a circle for your mouth, okay? So don't, don't stress out. Do your mouth how you want, but I'm going to show you a couple more advanced ways to do a mouth. So one thing you notice when you look at all my mouths is you'll see that the bottom lip is curved, but the top lip is a little bit bumpy. So I'm going to show you how to do a bumpy mouth. So just like the nose was in the middle of where the eyes and the chin are, so here's the eyes and the chin, the nose in the middle, the mouth is going to be halfway between the bottom of the nose and the chin. So I'm going to draw a soft smile about halfway between my chin and the bottom of my nose. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do the like bumpy top lip. 
So if you want to do a bumpy top lip, we're going to have a bump, bump, like that. Bump, bump. And then your bottom lip is just one curve, like this. And then sometimes you guys can put your little smile lines on if you want to be like smiling like that. And say you wanted to add teeth. If you want to add teeth, that's fine. So I would just add one more curve like this. And then you have a little opening to put your teeth on. Like this. Okay? So however you want to do it. Some of you guys might even have braces. You can put your little braces on there. Okay? So you guys can do this part however you want. Again, if you just want to do a little, a plain old smile, that's fine too. After we've got our mouth done, our face is pretty good now. I feel like we can move on to our hair. Now, a lot of my friends, when they are doing self-portraits, they think your hair goes up here. Your hair doesn't go up here. Your hair falls down on your head a little bit. So I'm gonna show you again a couple ways that I do hair. If you are a boy, your hair is short, but your hair is still gonna come down. So sometimes this is a little bit longer boy hair, and this is like shorter hair. Um, but your hair is still gonna come down like onto your head. So if I had boy hair like this or short hair, like short hair like my son Eli kind of has short hair like this, it's gonna come down onto your head a little bit. And if you have longer hair, it's still gonna come down like this. Now, if you have like bangs or if it's tucked behind your ears, it can kind of like fall down a little bit like this and then it can go up. So maybe I'm gonna do like, like hair like this. But the most important thing is when you do this is you wanna make sure that your hair doesn't start up here. It actually comes down onto your forehead a little bit. So I'm gonna kinda of try to cover up these little scratchy lines here. And then if some of you guys might wanna do like, um, some of you guys might wanna do like barrettes or ponytails or something in your hair, you can do that too. I will kinda of show you how I do like a little ponytail in my hair. So if I have short hair, it's like this. But in my examples here, you guys can have curly hair. Some of you girls have, or boys have curly hair. You can just do like zigzags or kind of like curls or ringlets. You can do your hair curly too. So make it look like you. We want this to look like you because it's a self portrait. So here's my hair like that. And if I wanted to wear like a little pigtail or a little bow or something, you can put like a little bow in here and maybe you have like a little ponytail kind of like curling out a little bit. Like this, okay? And again, you guys can customize this. So you can have something written on your shirt or you could be wearing, maybe I'm wearing like a little necklace with a heart on it. You guys can customize this however you want. Now, for those of you that are painting this portrait with me today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about making skin color. So, if you're coloring, you kinda of already have some skin color. So, um, a lot of times, I will kinda of mix a couple colors together if I don't have peach. But for those of you that have this peach color, this is the color I use for skin. I use this peach color. Now, if you don't have this peachy kind of like skin tone with your colored pencils, you can still achieve this skin color by using a couple different colors. So you can use pink really lightly in places like this. You can put some pink. You can also put, if you have like a yellow or a gold, you can use a little bit of yellow two to go over that pink and it'll kind of make it a little bit more peachy. So you guys can do, if you're coloring this, you can do this how you want. Um, if you are painting this to make a peachy color, peachy is just light orange. So all you have to do is you have to make orange first. 
so it's yellow and red. You make some orange and you add a lot of white to it and that'll make this really light peach color. And then for your hair, your hair, look at what color your hair is. Some of you guys might have blonde hair so you can do your hair like yellow, okay? Or, or like, like maybe it's like yellowish brown. If you have like a, like a yellowish brown color, that's fine too. Or you could do brown, you could do red, whatever color your hair is. And then don't forget about your eyes. So your eyes, I have green eyes, so I can make my eyes green like this. And once you get your eyes done, you can do your lips. So our lips can either be like a dark peach, kind of like this, if you want, or they could even be kind of like a pinky color if you want. Or maybe even a combination. So if I do pinky and peachy over top of each other, they kind of look like this. So pinky peachy. All right, so you guys can continue to color this any way that you want. Thank you for joining me for the um, self-portrait lesson. Again, this is one of my favorites. I love to do this with my kids every year. Um, I am trying to post a video every single day, sometimes even twice a day on YouTube as long as school is out. So I hope that you guys will jo join me again tomorrow to paint something new.